Hello everyone, my name is Masa Yoshida, a uh, senior director by Qualcomm. So today, so I'd like to introduce uh, our uh, insight of the connected compute in Biku. So that means to the uh, uh, how, uh, in the, uh, especially for the 5G world, so the how Biku is moving, and the, also the uh, how Qualcomm is uh, providing the solution. So the, please uh, hear and uh, uh, if you have any uh, comments, so please uh, post it at the, uh, on the crowd. So first, so the, I'd like to introduce my uh, bio. So that I have started my career from the uh, NEC uh, from the 1987, uh, almost uh, 35 years ago. And I have, I have the uh, application engineer of the semiconductor, like uh, uh, analog and the digital consumer uh, LSI, and the graphics, uh, video, like MPEG. And also the uh, uh, microprocessor uh, and the software, like uh, uh, Windows and the Linux. Uh, on our uh, uh, SOC. So the, uh, also the, uh, I have the uh, work on the uh, uh, multi-core architecture and uh, uh, many of the ecosystem partners like uh, uh, Artos, uh, Tron and uh, TNG, and also the GNB Alliance for the Linux. And, uh, from uh, 20, uh, 2011, so I moved to the uh, uh, Lunesas. Actually, so that it's major from the uh, NEC to the uh, Lunesas. So then, so they, I have the uh, work on the uh, automotive uh, mainly. And uh, so oh, we have, I have the uh, uh, providing to the uh, Aruka based solution to the community, including to the AGL. And also, they, I uh, have the uh, worked on the uh, autonomous vehicle cons uh, computing consortium as a uh, board of director. And from this year, so I moved to the uh, Qualcomm and uh, as a uh, senior director of the uh, uh, software product ma uh, management and uh, I'm continuing to work with the automotive, especially for the uh, uh, ADAS and the cockpit and also the connectivity. So the, yeah, so as you know, the, uh, uh, the automotive industry is rapidly uh, evolving and uh, uh, also the uh, uh, new uh, uh, environmental uh, change like uh, 5G networks and uh, uh, VTX uh, is uh, driving for the uh, uh, automo uh, automotive electronics. And also the uh, uh, digital cluster, digital cockpit, and uh, uh, ADAS uh, for the uh, uh, is a uh, very um, uh, variable for the uh, old but of the passenger and the driver. And then so the uh, uh, service-oriented uh, architecture for the uh, to hook up to the crowd. This is also the uh, uh, another uh, segment and the driving force of the uh, automotive. So that's kind of the uh, new consumer, uh, so that uh, access to the uh, car owner and also the uh, uh, driver passenger uh, needs uh, has been a uh, uh, driving force of the uh, uh, all of the uh, automotive and the ecosystems. Again, so the as a 5G is uh, now starting the services in the globally, and then so this is uh, uh, also the driving force of the uh, digital uh, transformation um, into the uh, uh, this uh, uh, infrastructure. So 5G infrastructure uh, enabling much more rich multimedia uh, and also the services, and also the. Uh, on-demand cloud computing is, of course, the uh, uh, very um, uh, high performance uh, cloud computing uh, is uh, applied on the uh, uh, cloud, but uh, it can be available in the each uh, terminals and also the endpoints are like a vehicle. And also, that it's a not 5G is not just a, a smartphone, but uh, many of the devices uh, can be uh, connected through the uh, 5G networks. So that uh, uh, through IoT uh, will be uh, achieve, uh, achievable with that. And uh, also the reliability for the connection and the low latency. Uh, this is uh, also another uh, aspect of the technology to uh, enabling to the uh, actual so the uh, seamlessly. Uh, connecting to the uh, crowd to the uh, uh, terminals. So that's uh, uh, make to the uh, uh, edge AI technology like a uh, more uh, uh, edge edge side mean to the uh, uh, access point and uh, so the uh, uh, operators uh, have been uh, provide, uh, providing the edge uh, AI technology to reduce into the uh, uh, load of the uh, endpoint and also the crowd uh, computing. 
So this is uh, uh, also a uh, global uh, standard, and then uh, many of the uh, uh, global player is working on the 5G. So then, so the uh, today, uh, so the uh, 100 over the 170 uh, operator is uh, uh, already deploying to the uh, uh, 5G networks, and the over the 70 country uh, have been uh, uh, deployed, and also the uh, 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 operators increasing uh, rapidly uh, because they are investing in the 5G networks uh, deploying. So that's kind of the 5G, of course, uh, uh, influence on the whole future autom uh, automobile. Uh, so therefore, so this is a uh, uh, very key. And also the uh, with the 5G, so how uh, automotive electronics and the uh, ecosystem will be moving on. So this is uh, uh, today's uh, uh, key topics. So this uh, 5G trans uh, transformation uh, is a uh, uh, many uh, influence to the many uh, aspects of the automotive, uh, like uh, uh, manufacturing and the sales and the uh, maintenance, and also the uh, services and the uh, actual uh, Inca Express, and also the uh, transportation. So that means the uh, this is a, a very huge influence for the uh, overall uh, automotive industry. So one of the uh, key is so the how uh, that uh, a 5G uh, can be enabling to the uh, uh, connectivity and the compute. Mean to the, uh, of course, uh, you know, the uh, automotive, uh, not just automotive, but all of the industrial uh, technologies. Now, uh, very, um, uh, moving to the uh, uh, computes uh, oriented, like uh, many of the uh, services and also the uh, data mining and also the uh, uh, autonomous uh, has been uh, rely on the uh, heavily compute technologies. But of course, that kind of a compute is uh, uh, required a very a high uh, performance. So then, so that kind, uh, it can be uh, uh, synergy and the connected with the uh, uh, connectivity with the uh, uh, cloud and the endpoints and the edge. So this uh, is a, yeah five G is a, a key uh, technology to how it can be binding to the uh, each uh, application in the endpoint to the uh, uh, computing platform on the cloud and also the uh, uh, edge uh, AI. So that's a 5G uh, is a, a driving to that kind of the uh, uh, connection of the uh, uh, computing or the uh, uh, endpoint uh, applications. So this is a, uh, yeah, uh, one of the uh, purpose of the uh, uh, 5G to enabling AI everywhere. For the uh, automotive, uh, yeah, so the, uh, as you know, the uh, uh, case is uh, one of the keywords. Uh, maybe it's uh, used uh, in a couple of years, but it's a, uh, that uh, case uh, trend is uh, continuing, like uh, uh, connected, autonomous, uh, electric, and shared. And uh, also the uh, uh, digital cockpit and the ADAS have been uh, uh, evolving continuously, uh, like a uh, digital cockpit to move into the uh, uh, connected car. And also the uh, issue consolidation with uh, such a, a multiple issue can be uh, uh, binding to the single box. And then, so the uh, autonomous, how it can be a cockpit is uh, uh, working on. So this is uh, uh, also the key technologies and the trend. And the ADAS, so the, it's uh, yeah, uh, almost a uh, uh, level two ADAS is uh, mandatory for like a uh, uh, Euro end cap, but it's moving to the level two plus and the level three and for the future, uh, level four, five, level five, uh, purely the autonomous driving will be uh, appeared. So that's kind of the market uh, trend uh, has been uh, driven to the uh, uh, new e architecture evolution. So the yeah, as a legacy, so the each issue like a pattern body chassis has been a uh, 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 little bit independent and connected very slow can networks, but that's for the for the rich uh, services and the application and the safety. 
so the uh, the each domain and also the uh, technology can be uh, uh, more uh, evolved, uh, evolved to the uh, hierarchical architecture like a central compute as a brain of the car and some of the uh, domain controller to the uh, maintain each of the domains and each uh, node uh, or the uh, directory control to the uh, uh, each uh, uh, sensor and actuator like a uh, motors so that kind of the hierarchical architecture uh, will be your uh, main uh, stream of the future vehicles So then, so this is the uh, uh, migration path of the uh, E architecture. So the currently uh, the uh, current vehicle in production is a uh, uh, gateway based architecture for the each domains. So then, so the uh, gateway uh, the, uh, connected uh, each uh, domain like a uh, body and chassis pattern that kind of the uh, uh, information through the uh, uh, gateway that harmonized in the uh, each operations. So that kind of the uh, uh, yeah system is a uh, uh, yeah uh, tuned to the uh, each operation. But uh, if the uh, system had been uh, uh, moving to complicated, the uh, each you know uh, correlation is a very um, uh, tough to manage. So then, so the for the 2020, uh, it's moving to the more domain-based architecture. To each uh, domain uh, can be uh, controlled at the domain control center. Then, so that uh, domain controller uh, communicated to the uh, uh, more higher speed uh, backbone, uh, like uh, Ethernet. So that kind of the uh, architecture now, many of the OEM is uh, uh, developing and uh, uh, plan to ship in this uh, 2020. And the 2025, so we are discussing with a multiple customer. So this is a uh, uh, more uh, centralized uh, uh, compute architecture, uh, like I, I said. So that, that's a kind of the hierarchical architecture to central compute to the uh, zonal controller and uh, each uh, ECU and the node to control of the uh, uh, vehicles. So that to reduce into the uh, uh, harness, uh, so that's kind uh, it's a, a zonal controller had been uh, uh, located each uh, location like a uh, front right front left uh, rear right rear left like that but so the of course so the each uh, control uh, had been uh, uh, centralized and then so the centralized compute uh, had been uh, managed into the uh, all of the application So then, so the uh, uh, that kind of the architecture, uh, the uh, much more computerized vehicle, is uh, uh, more software oriented. That means to the uh, software uh, define all of the uh, behavior of the vehicle. So therefore, that kind of the central compute uh, has been uh, how it can be uh, uh, easily building the software. That, this is the key, and also the how that software can be seamlessly. Uh, work on the each of the application like uh, ADAS, HMI, and also the each uh, domain control like a uh, body pattern, uh, chassis. So this is a uh, uh, big challenge, but uh, now uh, we are working on, and uh, also that this is the key for the uh, to continue to uh, improve the be, uh, big architecture for the future. So that's a, a, this is a, a, a current our concept to some of the uh, backplane uh, computing, like uh, you know the uh, uh, edge uh, server architecture. But of course, it, this is the automotive. How it can be aligned? This is a, a, yeah currently a, a deeply discussing within the uh, OEM Satya One and also the uh, Silicon vendor like us. But uh, so that that's kind of the uh, architecture. Uh, also, the uh, need to be uh, uh, collaborate with the cloud. So therefore, so the telematics and also the uh, uh, connectivity is a, a very key for this uh, architecture. The ADAS, uh, the ADAS is one of the key uh, application for the compute because uh, uh, this is uh, uh, quite uh, heavily uh, depend on the uh, performances. So then, so the uh, uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, uh, continue to evolving to the right now. So the level two is almost mandatory, but uh, so the level two plus and the level three is a uh, uh, key for uh, next generation. 
uh, the level three plus and uh, also the four five uh, will be a, a subject to discuss how uh, move on and uh, this is a uh, big issue to manage into the complexity of the design of the sensor and also the computes so that's a uh, uh, one of the uh, big challenge to the how uh, our uh, central computer architecture can uh, carry on So again, so the uh, the connectivity is driving to the uh, vehicle evolution, uh, but of course, so the uh, the uh, key technology is uh, uh, required, like uh, with the uh, energy efficiency and the compute and the intelligence. So then, so the uh, uh, that kind of the uh, requirement I have the uh, focus the multiple technical uh, segment like five uh, G and C uh, BTX digital cockpit and uh, uh, ADAS and AD and the car to crowd services, service-oriented architecture. So this is the uh, uh, main trend of the uh, uh, market, like uh, uh, OEM intended to. And then so the, uh, the uh, how uh, it can be uh, resolved to the, that this issue. So this is the key for the uh, next generation uh, electric, uh, electronic uh, architecture. So for the Qualcomm, uh, so we gonna uh, address in these uh, technologies, uh, uh, and uh, so we gonna provide in to the uh, uh, platform so-called uh, digital chassis. So this is a uh, uh, binding to the uh, these key technologies as a platform, and then so the uh, providing to the uh, solution uh, to the uh, uh, OEMs and the tier one customers. So that's a binding to the uh, uh, Katu Cloud platform and ADAS and the AD, digital cockpit and the telematics. So as a uh, commonly used for the platform to the, through the uh, uh, multiple uh, OEMs and also the multiple customer. And also the, uh, of course, this is the uh, uh, platform to uh, involve into the, um, the engaging to the uh, uh, many of the uh, stakeholder like uh, uh, partner software vendors. So then, so the, uh, we have the aligning to the, our uh, products, so-called Snapdragon. So this is our solution for the automotive and then to hold the, each of the technology axis and then uh, uh, provide a complete and to end to end solution to the customer. So that's uh, our intention uh, we are doing right now. So that's kind of the uh, uh, digital chassis uh, have the uh, binding to the many of the technology like uh, 5G and Celta B2X, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connectivity, and of course compute uh, CPU, GPU uh, technologies and also the uh, video or related multimedia technology, including the uh, audio and the uh, ADAS uh, accelerator and the uh, computer vision for the uh, uh, AD ADAS application. Also the security is a very key for the uh, uh, connected vehicle because uh, yeah, there is a uh, many of the uh, uh, cyber security risk to uh, uh, coming through to the uh, uh, connected. So that uh, we're gonna uh, uh, offer to the very uh, robust and strong security frameworks of the uh, uh, basement of the uh, digital chassis. And also the uh, precise uh, location. So the location services, uh, powering uh, communication and uh, uh, heels and uh, uh, tools. Uh, that kind of the tool is a very uh, fundamental. So, but and, uh, uh, we're gonna uh, offer the uh, very uh, basement of the, our technologies. Uh, as a digital chassis. That's kind of the uh, digital chassis, of course. So this is a very um, huge program and the challenge. So we cannot do uh, by ourselves only. So we, we need to work with the many of the collaboration with the partners, uh, including the uh, automaker OEMs and the tier one and Qualcomm. So because uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, the heavily depend on the uh, uh, automaker's uh, intention and also the tier one's intention, but also the uh, uh, Qualcomm uh, have been uh, participate that circle to provide into the uh, common platform to uh, enabling to automaker and the tier one uh, that kind of the uh, data chassis based uh, new vehicle in time. So the, uh, uh, this is uh, our concepts and uh, yeah, we are uh, working on two builds and uh, uh, offering to this uh, solution, uh, this so-called this Snapdragon data chassis platform to the, uh, uh, our uh, 
customer and those with our partner nodes. So then, so the uh, little bit uh, explain to the what uh, uh, our Snapdragon Dragon is. So the, this is a uh, uh, heterogeneous computing platform to the uh, 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 odd challenges. So the odd challenge mean to the how uh, the system can be uh, realized to the uh, uh, these four uh, technology axes like a high performance and the concurrency uh, mean to the uh, yeah this is the automotive so this is not just a server. So it needs to be uh, uh, required very high performance, but it have the uh, concurrency operation to the uh, multiple use cases. So this is a key. So that uh, we uh, our technology should can be focused with that. And the power efficiency, of course, it, this is uh, uh, you know the uh, uh, electronics and also the uh, EV. So the, this is a uh, battery uh, operated uh, vehicle. Uh, so battery uh, EV and also the, uh, even plug-in hybrid. So the, uh, this is uh, uh, energy efficiency is a very key because it's uh, directly affected to the uh, how much mile can be uh, uh, drive in the, on the uh, uh, single charge on the battery. So therefore, so the uh, power efficiency is our uh, uh, main focus uh, for us. And the low cost, so this is the, uh, yeah, uh, very good technology, but if it's not uh, uh, available in the all of the uh, second uh, grade of the car, it's meaningless. So therefore, so you have the uh, uh, providing to the uh, scalability and uh, also the uh, 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 to fit of the each of the uh, uh, grade of the vehicle, but also the uh, the development cost is a uh, very key. So therefore, so our uh, solution is a uh, uh, pre-designed and uh, provided to the customer to minimize the uh, design cost. And the other time, so this is embedded. So that means to the uh, uh, automotive, automobile is a very high speed moving object, mean to the, it needs to uh, work on the process in time. Otherwise it's very um, uh, dangerous and also the meaningless. So therefore real time is a very key. So this is uh, uh, what uh, uh, our uh, uh, offer and also the, what's the uh, uh, definition of the heterogeneous compute platform or the automotives. So yeah, so we are offering to the uh, multiple uh, technology to bind into the, uh, our Snapdragons. So this, uh, for example, for the, uh, uh, for the compute, so the uh, CPU, the very high uh, performance and the high energy efficiency CPU, so we build it, so-called uh, cryo. So this is a uh, uh, used same as a uh, mobile and uh, also the uh, many of the uh, design uh, history is uh, uh, applied for the uh, uh, in production. That means the design maturity is very high. And then also the uh, Arduino is uh, our uh, graphics and uh, multimedia uh, technologies. So so this is a very, uh, 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 fully optimized for the embedded. So that means to the uh, uh, multiple uh, uh, instance for the uh, uh, multiple uh, requirement like uh, map rendering, HMI rendering, some of the uh, uh, computer vision uh, requirements. That kind of a multiple uh, requirement can be operated on the uh, Arduino GPU. And also the uh, 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 video processing as a part of the uh, Arduino and also the uh, uh, display uh, technology uh, as well. So the, uh, this is a, uh, very uh, uh, optimized to the automotive use case because it's uh, slightly different with the uh, 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 mobile, like uh, you know the multiple display support and the high resolution display support. So therefore, we have the uh, uh, pretty much tailored to the our architecture uh, from the mobile to the automotive. And the hexagon is our uh, data uh, operation and the data processing technology. And it have the uh, uh, several uh, binded several technology like a tensor accelerator for the uh, AI and also the uh, vision based uh, uh, compute and also the audio as well as uh, audio signal processing as well. So this is a uh, uh, binding to the uh, multiple uh, architecture, but uh, uh, tailored to the uh, what kind of the data uh, uh, can be uh, operated. And also the uh, security uh, uh, is uh, one of the key. So the secure processing uh, is that uh, uh, our uh, 
optimized to the uh, automotive use case because so this is a uh, very um, uh, highly uh, security is uh, required in the uh, uh, against the cyber security, but also the safety uh, requirement for the automotive. And the uh, connectivity is uh, one of the key. Uh, so because a uh, uh, vehicle has been connected to the uh, uh, cloud, but also the uh, many of the uh, uh, components like a smartphone or uh, even the uh, people or some of the uh, big networks. So that kind of the connectivity has been tailored to the automotive use case. So under uh, binding to the uh, our Snapdragon architecture. So then, so these uh, uh, architecture uh, is a uh, common to the uh, cockpit and uh, also the ADAS, but so that it's a uh, uh, fitting to the uh, multiple uh, performance and functional uh, use case for the uh, uh, to uh, fit into the uh, uh, customer's uh, demand for the systems. So the yeah one of the key focus is so the uh, safety and the security uh, and also the how it can be realized safety security requirement and also the uh, very rich uh, infotainment entertainment uh, application and also the uh, crowd uh, upgrade and also the very um, uh, rapid uh, evolution of the software and the very um, uh, robust and the uh, very um, uh, you know the tightly coupling with the hardware. So that's kind of the two different uh, requirements, how we can achieve to this on the our system. So virtualization is one of the key for that. So therefore, so we have the uh, pretty much focusing to how our uh, technology to fit into the uh, virtualization, the multiple operating system environments. So this is a uh, current uh, quick glance of the our uh, software uh, solution. So the yeah uh, we have the uh, supporting to the multiple uh, options and the combination of the software. So because uh, um, many of the uh, uh, our customer uh, the, uh, they have the, their uh, own preference of the software and also the they already uh, built it to the uh, software uh, frameworks on top of that. So therefore we have the uh, uh, offer to the multiple solution. Uh, like, uh, you know, the binding to the uh, QNX hypervisor and also the uh, 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 with uh, uh, Linux or uh, Android, the green hills, open synergy, so that each of the uh, uh, technology have the uh, 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 each uh, preference to fit with the, uh, each preference of the OEMs. And also the uh, Linux based container technology, so that uh, 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 also, we have the uh, uh, working on that to how it can be uh, easily deployed to the uh, service on the cloud. So then, so the uh, we have the uh, uh, binding to the high level operating system with the multiple or many of the uh, uh, automotive features uh, already. Uh, on top of the uh, uh, operating system uh, infrastructure that I uh, explained to the previously. So, but so of course that kind of the uh, feature set uh, is uh, uh, expanding and also the uh, uh, it's up to the uh, uh, customer's uh, use case. So therefore, so we are very uh, open to uh, binding to the uh, customer's uh, demanding. But so the yeah we are already working on that. For the uh, uh, to develop with that kind of the uh, uh, software, so the. Uh, Hardware platform, reference hardware platform is one of the key. So therefore, so we have the uh, uh, providing to multiple hardware reference for the, for example, the cockpit. So the uh, we have the uh, uh, dedicated cockpit compute reference platform on with uh, uh, our Snapdragon technologies, and then so the uh, it can be a support to the uh, multiple uh, actual use case uh, on the uh, cockpit. Also the ADAS, uh, we are uh, uh, build it to the uh, uh, reference hardware, uh, so called the Snapdragon Lite platform. And then so the, uh, this is the uh, hardware reference, but also the, uh, we are uh, binding to the uh, uh, multiple partners software stack on top of that and to uh, customer start to the uh, uh, evaluate to the ADAS uh, application uh, on top of that. So this is uh, uh, our uh, technology, but also the, we offer to the uh, more flexibility for the function uh, performance or the uh, multiple uh, product lineup and also the future. So this is the uh, uh, we have concept of the uh, SKU. Uh, 
so that's a, a stock uh, uh, unit. Uh, so, the, so this is a, a one of the key to, uh, for the defining to the products. Uh, so these uh, uh, technologies to the uh, enabling to the uh, uh, multiple features on the uh, same architecture, and once customer more uh, tuned to the their application or future uh, headrooms is required. So yeah, we can fit into the our SKU to meet with the customer demand. So thank you very much. So that today, so I am uh, very uh, short to uh, explain to the our uh, solution and the, uh, we uh, how it can uh, work with. But of course, so this is uh, just uh, you know the uh, abstraction of the uh, solution, and also we need to collaborate with our partner and also the uh, customer. So yeah, uh, again, so that if you have the uh, very interested in our solution, so please keep in touch and continue to work with uh, uh, with the uh, ecosystem. So thank you very much.